Hello, uh, a few people asked me how I did that uh, procedural city thing, so I thought I'd do a quick uh, tutorial and show you how. So I'll start with the default cube. I'm going to an orthographic view and I'm going to move this up so it's uh, lined up with the floor. And I'm going to duplicate it again uh, to make another section and another section here. So that's basically my base section, my middle section, my top section. Uh, so let's just make these slightly look slightly more like a base, so I'm going to go wide, and let's make that one. There you go, so that's the basics of my buildings. Uh, now we want to put all of these individual bits into collections, so I'll type the top bit, we'll press M, new collection, and we'll call that top. And then same with the middle bit, M, new collection, and we'll call that mid. And here again, uh, press M, new collection, and we'll call that base. And then the last thing I want to do is select all of these and I'm going to press Control A, freeze all their transformations so the origins are all at the bottom of the ground level. Cool. So now let's grab, uh, let's make a big plane. This will be our kind of scatter surface. This will be basically our city. Over here. And if we go to the uh, particle settings here, we'll add a new one. A hair. And let's put, I don't know, 100 on there. And then we'll go to render here. It says path here. We're going to make that a collection. And then here we're going to pick our base. Um, and then we're going to have to go to advanced uh, rotation. And we'll make that uh, global Y, I think it is. Looks about right. And then let's go back here and adjust our scales until we're happy with what we want. Put a bit of randomness in there. Cool, that'll do for the beginning. So then what we're going to do is go back up here and we have this particle system. We're going to duplicate this a couple of times. Uh, and then we'll call, so we'll call the first one we did, we'll call that base. We'll call this one mid. And we'll call this one top. Uh, now currently they're using all the same settings. So we basically want to make them, you can see here they're using the same, uh, that's, the settings are attributed to all three of them, so we want to make this independent, so I'm going to hit that button to make it independent, and hit that button to make it independent. So now if we go to the mids, we want to swap this base here to mid, and we go to the top, and we'll swap this top one to top. So now we're scattering our buildings all over the place, but there's no variation, so let's duplicate this, these guys a couple of times. And now we'll leave the first one original. So this one will make just slight variations. So I'm going to do that. And then this one will do something a bit more drastic. Actually, we'll yeah, just do that. And then this one will add a And then let's do the same, a similar thing with the middle bits. So let's add some more variation in these guys. And then let's do some slight variations to the base as well. There you go. So now we've got a bit of variation over our city, but if you notice here, they're basically the same uh, variations of buildings. They're not, they're not kind of um, doing separate things kind of within the building itself. So the easiest way to do that, I found, is if I just change the nap, the number of groups. So for instance, if I grab this guy here and this guy, let's grab these two here, in fact, and I duplicate those again. And then let's grab this guy, duplicate that again. So I've basically got more top variations. Now when it cycles through, it kind of makes more in, um, individual buildings, I've noticed. So let's just uh, make this look slightly different. So 
so now we go there we go so I should have quite a few independent individual buildings scattered on my map uh, the last thing we'll do is well let's just make it a little bit prettier we'll go to modifiers here we'll add it by bevel modifier um, and then we'll select all of our other bits here yeah. set a better modifier last Control L, copy the modifiers across. And there we go. That's the start. That's basically how I did the majority of my procedural city. Uh, the next thing I did was just to make it a little bit easier, so if I select all the top bits. And then select all the mid middle bits. Now if I select all of that. I can tab, press U, uh, sorry, tab, press A to select all the uh, faces, press U, um, smart UV project, and then I just texture that all in one go in Substance Painter, uh, and there you go. And then one of the other things I did was well, as well is if I go back into my particles, it's base. If I duplicate that again. Uh, and make this independent again and I'll call this uh, I'll call this base own what I can do is I'll change the seed of this one and I'll probably reduce the number of them there you go it's just a few little floor pieces as well. When I texture these I text them entirely including the top faces even though some of them can't you can't see. And there you go.